Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. My name's Tilly. I make lots of different content. I don't upload regularly, but I do try to, especially when I'm not in full-time work, I tend to be able to upload a lot more frequently. And today we are decluttering the entirety of my wardrobe. Every single piece of clothing I own today is being looked at, assessed, and then either sold or donated. I think I don't realize how many clothes I have, how many clothes? How much clothes I have until I have it all out on a pile in front of me and I can really, you know, see it. I finished my job at a primary school for summer last week and I decided that the following week was going to be like a huge reset declutter because I feel like I'm going into a new chapter of my life and I thought I'd start with the wardrobe because I've done this a lot throughout my life and I know it's something which I can get done in one day. Don't forget to like this video because it really means a lot and it helps me know that I'm making the right type of content and comment when you last did a wardrobe clear out down below because I'm intrigued. Let's get going. It is 10 past nine on Monday morning. Let's do this. So this is what we're starting with. I feel like as far as messy wardrobes go, it's really not that bad. But I was kind of just putting clothes away, but just shoving them like that shelf up there. All those shelves actually were just full of clothes like to the back. And this cupboard wasn't bad at all. I think it just needed rearranging and those tote bags needed to go somewhere else because I could use that space for something better. First off, I went through everything and just got it out on the floor. So I could go through things piece by piece and decide what I wanted to do with it. Also questioning why past me decided to hang this jumper this way. And then once I'd done that, I started emptying my tote bag. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tote bags. I feel like that's some sort of record. Then took out the extra towels and this random box which I had kept up there. There was also this random like pink bubble wrap pack thing and a spare Ikea storage box which I don't know why I'd shoved that up there and then my hair dye towels and my swimming towel. I then decided it would be good to dust because this was actually disgusting. How this amount of dust got into that wardrobe I will never know. So I emptied out that box, put it back, and then took my shoes out, gave the box a clean. We're halfway through, we've done this side and this is everything we've taken out so far. I do feel like though that is just the less full side because I don't have a lot of stuff that I need hanging up. The dresses I hang up hang in here because there's more hanging space. I feel like this is where the real growth is going to come from. So same as the other side, I just took everything out, chucked it all on the floor in a pile. And I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I'm not going through my pants, socks and pajamas because I did that recently and I know I wanna keep them all. I then got my winter coats out too and my winter jumpers and jeans because I decided I might as well just go through them too while I'm at it. I'm not currently aware if you can see this pile on camera, at least to my thighs. And it's not even like a completely all the way up pile. This is like, this is a lot of clothes. Why am I doing this to myself? This is the pile. And for scale reference, this is a teeny tiny handbag on top of that pile. I think now I'm just gonna set the camera up and I'm just gonna sort through piece by piece. Um, I have seen a couple of pieces already that I'm like, you can go. 
I then started going through the stuff one by one and deciding whether I wanted to keep it, donate it or sell it. There wasn't actually that much I got rid of. I think because I'm not really sure what I'm doing next career-wise, I had to keep a lot of my like teacher and office appropriate clothes as I'm really not sure where I'm going to be next. Um, but there was some pieces that I hadn't worn since I was in uni, so I knew that they could be donated or sold. I quickly went through my jumpers as well, even though I kept all of them, and then sorted through my bags, which I also kept all of. We have sorted through the mammoth pile of clothes. This is my keep pile. And I feel like looking at it, it doesn't look any different <laughs> to how it did like half an hour ago. But I have got rid of some stuff. So these are like winter jumpers that I'm keeping. My shoes, I know I'm not going to get rid of any of them. These vans that I have are lovely. But one heel always cuts in and like makes me bleed. So I don't wear them that much, but I feel like I'm just gonna have to try and break them in because I do like them. Same with my sandals, my Doc Martin sandals. I really need to wear those in. I can wear them short distance, like literally a walk to the shop and that's it. I feel like I need to wear them somewhere if I'm just like going out for dinner and then take a spare pair of shoes just in case. But they were very expensive and I'm not going to give up on them just yet. Those are like winter jackets, outdoor jackets, spare towels and stuff, which I'm going to reorganise back into one of these cupboards and then also sort out the bedding. I have some ski trousers there too, um, but again, I know I'm keeping those, so I've just left them in there for now. Those are wash. I'm going to sell that Lucy and Yak jumper, but the other two jackets I used to wear a lot when I worked at the school. Tote bags, I tried to eliminate some, but I just love them so much. And I literally use all of them, obviously not at the same time, but I do use them. And then I can't get rid of my Percy Pig bag because not only is he iconic, I wore him to the Rex Orange County concert. So he's now got like emotional attachment to him. So this down here is my cell pile. We've got actually quite a lot down there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start putting all the stuff away. I'm gonna do this side first because I know what's going in there. And then I'm also gonna need a place for my tote bags. This was by far the longest part of the process. I think it took me about an hour to put everything back in because I just couldn't decide the arrangement on where I wanted everything. This side was fairly easy. I knew what I needed to hang and what I wanted to be hung up. My racer tank tops, like the pink and blue one you see there, they don't really need to be hung up, but I think I prefer, especially for summer, since it's a top that I tend to wear a lot, having it hung up um, just makes it more like accessible and gives me more space in like the folded t-shirt section. I also decided to just pop my trousers and jeans on the top shelf as Recently, the British summertime is not living up to its name and it has been chilly over here. So I kept those out where they're like easy to reach. I then put my dresses back because that's the only place they can really hang and then started organizing the folded stuff into the drawers. Me and Reese are so lucky to live somewhere where we have so much storage space. Like we have this wardrobe each his is the one on the left and then we have a middle hanging space as well and then we both have chest of drawers we have so much space i think now when i'm finished two of those chest of drawers drawers are now empty so this side's looking great i think now to like sort of really finish off the space and make it feel like i've done a lot is put these shoes away so that the space is like completely clear and then move on to the other stuff which to be honest i don't think will take me that long i think it just looks a lot more intense than it will be now moving on to the slightly quicker sections of the declutter so i just popped all my shoes away i've still got all my dance shoes just in case and my white trainers and my boots and running shoes are by the front door because I knew I was obviously going to keep them. 
I then reorganised our spare towels and popped all of our bedding back into that small area because I think it just works a lot nicer having it all in there and then put my tote bags on the door because that's the only space I had left for them and went through my outdoor jackets and popped them back as well. Then I put away my last couple of bits and now here is the final reveal of my reorganised wardrobe. The wardrobe is done. I am so happy it's done. It's been like bugging my brain for the last like three months. But right side fills me with so much happiness. Work is not done. I have all of this to put up on Vinted stuff to put in the wash basket and then this stuff is just cosplay potential stuff so that could just go in that sketches bag and then be chucked in the cosplay cupboard but i need to use my phone to be able to put my things up on vintage so i'm gonna have to end the video here thanks for watching don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed watching i feel like this is a very niche type of content um i love watching things like this on youtube i don't know why maybe i'm just a weirdo um so comment down below if you also enjoy watching this kind of stuff and don't forget to let me know when you last did a wardrobe declutter thank you for watching and here are the glamour shots of the before and after Thank you.